Okay, this is crazy. I was going to my old church to film about how revival broke out in that church down in uh, downtown Sheboygan, Michigan. I'm sitting there with my camera talking about the outpouring of the Spirit of God that really marked my life when a couple of guys shout out from the upstairs window across the street asking what I was doing. And so I decided, uh, hey, this is a fantastic opportunity. I said, hey, come down. Uh, let me interview you guys. I'm doing a YouTube video. And he said, all right, sounds great. So they came uh, and the Lord started to give me words of knowledge for them. I began to pray for them. They got healed and I got to lead all three of them to Christ right there. It was just fantastic. Uh, just a God moment. Now, I was filming this. Uh, by myself so I really apologize if the if the film quality is just terrible um, or if the sound is horrible uh, I tried my best I'm, I'm a newbie at all this stuff but um, I, I gotta share it I gotta upload it because it was just it, it was so cool um, honestly just amazing so uh, I hope it encourages you guys to let you know like you can do this stuff. I just want you to know like God can use you. God can use you. And um, man, this is just so wild. It, it's just so crazy. It's so much fun to be used by God. It's so much fun to live an adventure with Him. Definitely an amazing moment. Definitely an amazing moment. Yeah. So I'm here with uh, my new friend, Caleb. And uh, he's a little bit weirded out by me, probably. Um, so I just told him that I'm, you know, going around and I'm, I'm shooting uh, a video on, on healing. And uh, um, uh, the Lord told me by word of knowledge, and I'll explain to you what that is in just a second, uh, that he was dealing with a problem in his lower back, his left shoulder, or right shoulder, was it? Yeah. Right shoulder and his, and his left knee. And... Uh, so he's a little bit weirded out, and uh, so I'm gonna pray for him, and you're not gonna be nice to me, right? If I if I pray for you, I want to see if there's a change. Are you dealing with any pain right now? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. So I'm gonna pray for you, and I want to know if there's any change. Don't be nice to me. If it still hurts, it, you know, then it still hurts. Cool. And so uh, um, I got another buddy here. What's your name? Nathan. Nathan. Hey, would it be okay if I prayed for you too? Sure. So yeah, so um, so for Caleb, I saw that Caleb was dealing with a problem in his his lower back, his right shoulder, right shoulder and his left knee, and uh, and uh, so Nathan, do you have an issue in your um, in your neck that causes you to have uh, migraine headaches sometimes? Yes and no. I have I have several uh, issues, um, and. I have spine issues. I have, I, as you can see, I have weight issues. So, um, so that causes some stress on your body, pain in your back, and uh, also both your knees are kind of, uh, um, kind of rough, aren't they? Right? Just my left one. Just your left one? Okay, just the left one. And uh, so, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna pray for Caleb first, and I want to see if there's a change. I'm gonna pray for you. If there's no change, there's no change, right? Yeah. Um, uh, and I'm gonna pray for you too. And if there's no change, there's no change, right? So, but I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna expect something to change in the pain in your body that you're feeling right yeah. now. Caleb, let's pray, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna take your hand. What's hurting you right now? My knee. Your knee? Okay, so I'm gonna pray for you. I'm gonna ask that uh, God will heal your knee and uh, then I, I want you to test it out and move, do something you couldn't do before and don't be nice to me. I want to know if there's a change. Cool? Right. Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you're healing Caleb. In Jesus' name, I command this left knee to be completely healed, as well as his lower back and his shoulder, too. And Father, I pray that the anxiety that he's been dealing with and the problems with sleep he's been struggling with, I thank you that you're healing that as well. And Father, even the issues between him and his parents, I thank you, Jesus, that you're bringing a resolution to that, that, Father, you're going to restore the hearts of his parents to him and, and his heart to his parents. I pray, Lord Jesus, that you just begin to show yourself faithful to, to Caleb right now. In Jesus' name, knee be healed. Knee be healed. Okay, 
Here's, here's what I want you to do. I want you to test it out. Move your knee, do something you couldn't do before. Don't be nice to me. If there's a change, I want to know about it. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, it's... Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, any pain? No. No pain at all? No. Nope. Go ahead, do a couple squats for me. See if... Hold on. See if I can do it in these pants. Any pain? No. Could you do that before? No. No? That's super cool, dude. Ooh, yeah, right. Wow, dude. So, that's awesome. So, no BS, like, no. like you, yeah. you just got healed. Yeah. Okay, man. So, now, Nathan, I want to pray for you, too. Is there anything that's hurting you right now at this moment? Right now, just the part of my spine and between my shoulder blades. Okay. Part of your spine in between your shoulder blades. Okay. And is there anything like with your knee that if you did it, it would cause pain normally? And like, is, is there stuff that you can't normally do? Dep depending on what I'm doing. Okay. Because if, 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 if I'm walking for a long period of time, it, it, it'll act up. Okay. It's a come and go thing. Gotcha. So you'll know mm -hmm. later on down the road. Okay. So let me pray for you. Is it all right if I put my hand on yeah, your shoulder? That's fine. Yeah. Father, right now. I thank you, God, that you're healing Caleb. And in Jesus' name, I command all pain to leave his back. Father, I thank you that the issue um, in his neck and uh, down through his spine is being completely healed. The issues in his knee, I thank you, Father, that you're healing that. And Father, even the asthma issues where he has trouble breathing uh, after any sort of exercise, I thank you, God, that you're healing that in Jesus' name. God, I pray, Father, for complete healing. And if there's an inner ear issue that causes him to lose his balance, I thank you that you're healing that as well. Thanks, Lord. All pain go in Jesus' name. Okay, go ahead and move and tell me if you feel a difference. And don't be nice to me. If there's, if there's a change, I want to know about it. But if it's the same, I want to know about that too. Actually, it just quit hurting right now. It just quit hurting right now? <laughs> That's weird. That's so cool, dude. That's so awesome, man. So, um... Uh, was there anything, as I was praying for you, like the Lord, the, I felt like it was the Lord that put on my heart that you were dealing with, you know, like issues with asthma. Is there anything that I prayed that didn't make sense to you? No, not really. No, it, it all made sense? That, that, that's all? Except for the name. Except for the name? I'm <laughs> so, his name. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm sorry. It's fine. Yeah. So, um, now, uh, is it okay if I interview you too? Would that be okay? This is my fiance. This is your fiance? Hey, I'm John. Hi. John Mark is my full name, but if I'm introducing myself, a double name is confusing, so yeah, yeah. So, uh, can you give your channel a shout out here? Uh, Dragonite TC. Dragonite TC? Mm -hmm. Right on. So, have you been dealing with any pain or anything going on in your body that I could pray for you for? Um, my posterior neck, right here. Yeah. All the way down to my wrist. Okay, it's hurting you right now? Yes, it's yeah. been pulling, it's been pulling since when I went to my dad's, I would help him uh, do the horses and stuff like that, okay. but one of the horses took my arm pretty good. Okay, well could I just pr take your hand and pray for you? So, how long has this been uh, hurting you? It's been two years. Two years, okay. Well, Father, in Jesus' name, I command all the pain to leave, Father, that you just completely restore the spine, completely restore this arm and this shoulder and this wrist. Father, I thank you that you're bringing healing in Jesus' name. God, I thank you that also anxiety is leaving, that depression is leaving. I pray, Lord Jesus, that the migraine headaches that she gets are leaving. In Jesus' name, be healed. Thank you, Lord. Right now, 100% healing. Okay, I'd like you, if it's okay with you, start moving your arm and tell me if there's a change. Oh my god. Yeah? <laughs> Any pain at all? No. No pain. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. Praise God. Quick tip about her. She she could not lift her arm no higher than this. Really? Yeah. How high can you lift it now? All the way that's up? Crazy. <laughs> All the way up. That is so cool. Praise God. So. Thank you. All right. Here's the cool part, all right? So, you want to come here, dude? 
All right. So the reason all this stuff happened is because of Jesus, right? You heard me pray. I prayed in Jesus' name. That there's nothing about me holding your hand and saying a couple words that make that can heal you, right? The the power to heal isn't isn't mine. It's the guy who answers me. I talk to him, and he brings healing. Jesus. Jesus loves you guys, and he's real. And I don't know what you guys are dealing with in your life. I don't know if you've dealt with the same issues I've dealt with, but like, I want you to know God loves you. And if you want to know him, you can know him right now. And if you'd like, I'd like to lead you in a prayer to accept Christ and, uh, and uh, to receive forgiveness. Because, see, the, the issue is you've all messed up and so have I. We've all done stuff that deserves punishment, right? If God is fair, if he's just, then you and I deserve punishment because we've all, we've all done bad things, right? We've all sinned. I've probably done the worst. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know, man. I've done some pretty rough stuff. Depending on what you've done. Sure. Well. I just got out of a bad relationship, so. Yeah, dude. Well, here's the, here's the deal, man. Every single one of us deserves to be punished for what we've done. But the deal is, like, Jesus on the cross took the punishment that we deserve. See, you were created to live in fellowship with God. You were created to know him. The, the problem is our sins separated us from God, but Jesus provided what the Bible calls the atonement. We deserve to be punished, but he took the punishment on himself. So the guy who was going to judge us, Jesus, right? Imagine, imagine going, you know, standing before a judge and the judge saying, hey, look, you deserve life in prison, but I'm going to take your sentence for you. You'd be like, yeah, uh, what? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, okay. But that's what Jesus did. Jesus was going to be our judge, but he took the punishment on himself. And all he asks is like, come and accept my gift. It's literally it. It's just like he's handed you a big present. All you have to do is unwrap it. Um, have you guys like prayed this prayer before? Is this, or is this something new for you? Is this like a, a, a new step? Yeah, it's new. It's, it's new for me. It's, it's new for all of us. So here's what we're gonna do. Uh, you don't have to, you can bow your head if you want to, you can close your eyes if you want to, you don't have to do any of that. All that matters is you have a sincere conversation with God. And uh, I'm going to lead you in a prayer, which means I'm going to give you the words, but I don't want you to say them if you don't mean them. You understand? And uh, because I can't like make you pray this prayer. I can just help you along the way. I'm your tour guide, right? And you're the one who has to have the relationship with God yourself. And uh, I'm here to be a signpost and point you in the right direction. Right. Uh, but your relationship with God is between you and Him. And so, if you're willing, I'm going to lead you in this prayer. Cool? All right. Father. 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 Please forgive me of my sins. Please forgive me of my sins. Fill me with you. Fill me with you. Make me new from the inside out. Make me new from the inside out. I want to know you. I want, I want to know you. And I want you to be Lord of my life. I want you to be Lord of my life. Come and give me peace. Come and give me peace. Come and fill me with your spirit. Come and fill me with your spirit. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Guys, thank you so much for, for being in this video. And, uh, and uh, thank you so much for letting me, let me record you and, and, and pray for you guys. You guys are awesome. So, um... One last time, YouTube sh channel shout out. Damn it, Shofu. Dragonite TC. If you guys are into Pokemon, check these guys out. They do uh, YouTube Pokemon. Fortnite. Fortnite. Okay, never mind. Fortnite and Pokemon. I'm more of an Apex guy myself. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, hey, God bless you guys.